Woo, what is up guys? What is up? What is up? What is up? Most awkward intro 2020 coming at you right here with Oki Outdoor Adventures. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I want you guys subscribed. I love you guys. 77% of you guys aren't subscribed. Make it happen. Anyway, we're coming at you with the first actual fishing video of 2020 and it's a catch, clean, and cook. I know they're a little played out. I wanted to do something different for my channel. We've all seen them. There's dogs barking next to us. I had trout on the grill. It is what it is. 2020's off to a banger, banger of a start. I hate that phrase too. We'll see you guys in just a minute. All right. Hey, 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 hey. Chill, 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 chill. Rainbow. No, the bait. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you meant. I was just being silly. <laughs> you don't have to shut up. It was, it was just cute. I'm um, green. Um, can you grab that stringer? Come on, let him swim out. Let him swim out. He's good. He's good. We're good. We're good. Jump. Good call, dude. Good call. Good call. Good call. Beautiful fish, bro. Good goodness. Beautiful fish. Pretty little thing, pretty little thing. I thought John had it on his chest, so I apologize, John. I apologize to everybody. I should have been on top of the camera work for him, but That's all right. we got one, and he did it. I need this. Solid like. I got pliers. Here we go. Thank you. There we go, guys. Nice little hook. It's not even gut hook. He's good. I understand my, my fish handling right now is a little sketch, but we're gonna we're gonna clean these up and, and get them eaten. But I'm still not gonna mistreat this fish. So. There we go. You guys, Alex, uh, Alex got him a little bit of a, got him a little hog. Yes. Beautiful fish. Easy. Easy. Absolutely beautiful fish, guys. Look at that. He's about to catch another one. Flip the crate over and lay the fish in the crate. I, swear, I thought I saw that line jump. This one, Alex. You need a pliers? <laughs> He's probably gonna break this line. Uh, just let him relax a little bit. All right, guys, we are getting ready to get these trout processed, cleaned up for our catch, clean, and cook. And we'll get to the house and uh, get them on the grill. So, give us a second. Okay guys, so we've got our trout, we've got our sharp knife. This is a fairly easy process, like most guys overcomplicate it, they want to make it super difficult and try and fillet. We're just going to process, we're going to gut them, we're going to remove the heads, and then we're going to get them ready and, and cleaned out. So I've got a couple of bottles of water behind me, you can't see those now. We're going to start off, take your knife, this is the, the vent of the fish, right? We're going to take the cut from the vent up to the gill blade. plate like I said or not the vent plate I'm sorry to the gill plate and if you want to try and make a, a straight cut I'm a little bit off there but you'll feel it when you get to the top there's a spot up here where it's really hard where you'll be able to feel you know that you've you've got where you need to go now there's two spots that you want to grab so you can see right here there's two kind of I guess oh, sorry there's two uh, two spots here that you want to run your knife through and then you're gonna cut out and I'll show you how to put that out so a little bit smaller knife, and be careful guys, practice good knife safety. You wanna run your knife through there, and I'm gonna stab myself in the hand because I'm doing exactly what I said not to. We'll come through on this side too. And again, if you're sensitive to blood, you may wanna tune out for this part of the video. It will be quick though. So we'll make a quick cut there. And you got your cut here. 
you got your cut down the belly. All you're gonna do is take your thumb down and rip out. You're gonna rip that entire section out and get the guts. And I missed bad. So there it goes. Okay, so we've got the guts out, we've got it rinsed out well, fairly well, and you'll see this dark spot here. This is actually the kidney for the trout. And you can remove this a couple of ways. You can use a spoon if you're at home, or you can use your, your thumbnail or a fingernail, but you're just going to kind of work, work it down, and you want to get all of that, that kidney out. Otherwise, you're going to end up with kind of yuck, right? So we're just... We're gonna get that out and we'll rinse it out again as soon as we get to that point. It's a little bit gross, I apologize. But you can see that we've got we've got most of it out. What we don't have out, we'll rinse. So there you go, guys. That's it. Now we'll pop the head off here in just a minute, get it in a Ziploc bag, get it home, get it cleaned up, we'll rinse it off again when we get to the, when we get to the house, we'll get it on the grill. That's it, guys. Pretty easy stuff. All right, guys, so we are back in the kitchen. Those are the four or five items that we need to get these fish going on the grill. And sorry for any background noise we got. I am home working with the family. So we got the trout home. We've got it rinsed off. I'm just going to do a little bit of touch up before I put it in the broiler, right? Because I want to clean up some of this loose skin. So we can get those extra fins cut off there. It's not going to hurt anything. Got my other trout soaked in here. It's a little bit slimy, but it's fish, so I'm not sure what the expectation would really be. And we want to make sure that we got all of that kidney cleaned out from early, right? Because you, you don't want that in, in your meat. Like, so it will it will spoil the meat if you're not careful. So you want to make sure you get as much of that cleaned up as possible. And then we're gonna go ahead and rinse the fish off. So you can see it's. It's relatively cleaned out. I'm um, still a little bit that I can do, but we'll get it taken care of. All right, so that's pretty good. You can see. You can see we got most of that. Looks like we can still get a little bit more of that nasty, that nasty black gunk out of it. We definitely don't want to eat that. Now I will tell you that I'm not much of a fish eater unless it's fried. So if I make any crazy expressions during this, it's simply because I'm just not much, not much of a fish fan unless it's fried. So we're gonna go ahead. Get our foil together. This is just regular foil. It's not thick. It's not not quite heavy duty by any means. But we got that. We're gonna lay our trout inside the foil. We're gonna lay it long ways. And the reason that we're gonna do that is because we're gonna fold it up and we're gonna create a pouch to create some heat. So what I'm working with is salt and butter, and we're gonna throw in two tablespoons may seem like a lot, but when we're cooking on the grill, it's going to soak up that moisture very quickly, so we want this trout to stay moist. We don't want it to dry out and burn. What we can do is cut that into slots, or cut that into a few little pieces, and again, practice knife safety. We're going to just drop those kind of on the inside of the trout, and that's going to help not only provide a little bit of salty flavor, but it will help keep the trout from drying out really bad. Just your liking. We're going to gently, very, very lightly season with garlic salt on the outside and cut them on the inside piece. I prefer garlic salt versus a garlic powder because I do like the little bit of additional salty flavor. A little bit of black pepper, same thing, salt the inside, or pepper the inside, pepper the outside. And then something I like to do, especially on the grill, and a lot of people, there's a huge misconception about this, but I like to use chili powder. And the reason I use chili powder when I'm grilling is because it will give it a nice kind of smoky flavor. Now the misconception that a lot of people have is that chili powder will give it a flavor of chili. 
and that's, that's unfortunately that's just not the reality. A little known fact, but cumin is actually what gives chili its unique flavor. So we'll get that done. So this will give it a nice little smoky flavor, kind of cut down some of that fish. Now we're gonna get this folded up nice and neat. I'm just gonna roll it a couple of times here. We'll flip it back over, pinch the ends. We're good to go with the first one. So. There we have it, there's our initial preparation. I'm gonna cut it off. I'll get back to you when we're back on the grill, grab a couple of plates and a fork, and we'll see how this tastes. All right guys, so we got the grill good and hot. It's been running for a few minutes, so we're gonna take these trout. We're just gonna kind of set them here. And they're not super hot spot because you don't wanna burn them. We wanna make sure that they're getting enough heat to, to get done. We're gonna let those cook for a few minutes. I will uh, post everything that I used in the video below, but we're gonna let those cook for a few minutes and we'll come back and see how they taste. <sighs> All right, guys, it's, uh, well, we're officially at moment of truth time. Now, I will tell you that in my experience, the darker meat on fish always holds kind of the fishy flavor. So I've already pulled the skin off this and we're, uh, we're gonna kind of pick around the bones. If I was doing this inside, I would probably create a preparation that allowed me to utilize the skin more. But in this case, we're just looking for a couple of quick bites. And we'll see how it tastes, guys. I'll show you the trout. But you can see it pulls pulls right off the bone there. There's the bones. You can kind of see that. But the way that I've cooked it, also utilizing that butter, so you see some of the skin there. It uh, basically, basically just pulls right off the bone, so it's, it's pretty good. So that's, and I'm not wasting. I'm not sure where the video left off there, but we're about to take the first bites of our 2020 Catch, Clean, and Cook Rainbow Trout. Here we go. Didn't get the bone all the way out of that one. So that's on me. I gotta say though, that first bite, that first bite was pretty dad gum good. Not gonna lie. Let's uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna go with our fingers here, so we can make sure that we've got those those bones out. That garlic, mm. and you can definitely taste the uh, the chili powder. Give it a really nice smoky flavor. Man, that, that's really good. So I know I said that I was a fried fish guy, but uh, I gotta be honest, this is pretty, pretty dang ridiculous. We'll be right back. All right, guys, I had to come get a witness. So this is my son, Andrew. Say hello. Hey. Andrew uh, Andrew occasionally eats fish with me, but he's he's kind of like me guys He wants his fish fried and dipped in like uh, maple syrup or or something like that So he's gonna give this trout a shot and give you an honest reaction. Okay, so you're up, bud It's actually not bad, right? Mm -mm, it's not So what is it? I mean does it taste fishy to you or yeah, it's fishy. Well, I mean but, I mean, what are your thoughts? You can make it crunchy and it'd be good. Crunchy? Yeah. So you're thinking crunchy. Oh, he's going in for another piece, y'all. He's going in for another piece. That's a win. Thanks, bub. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So I, I'd say that that successfully wraps up our first catch, clean, and cook ever for the channel. First fish of 2020. Got out, got it done with Oklahoma's worst angler, Alex, my best bud. So, not much else I can say. Obviously, I'm beaming because my kid is a super picky eater and he enjoyed it. So that, that's it, guys. I appreciate you stopping by the channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe, subscribe button, like and share the video, and we'll see you next time.